Hey guys, this is going to be another quick Linux command video. Check the link in the description for more info and for copy and paste examples. The Linux ls command lists files within a directory, or it'll show you what files exist in that directory, basically. So you can type ls, and it will show you what files are there in uh, columns like this. So you can also type ls-l to see details. So this will give you one column of file names and a column for each detail. So you have file permissions, you have the owner, the user that owns it, and the group that owns it, which is the same, and uh, in this case, and you will see the size. So th this one is size zero. This is a, uh, you know, 4,096 bytes, and you will see the date and time that the file was last modified, and you will see the file name. So another handy thing you can do is instead of a, a dash L, you can have a dash one. And this will give you all of your output in one single column, but without the details. So that's a handy thing to be aware of. Now, the other thing you can do is type a dash A to show all files, including hidden files. So notice by default, it won't show you hidden files. Now, any file that starts with a dot is a hidden file. Usually that's done to hide configuration files so you don't clutter up a directory. But in any case, um, yeah, anything with a dot is a hidden file. So notice down here, no hidden files. Over here we have this one right here, a dot file, another dot file. Those are hidden files. They start with a dot. Now notice these two over here. A single dot is just uh, a placeholder. It just It kind of represents your current directory. Um, and the a double dot represents your parent directory. So you, you could use those when navigating the file system. And that, those two things are very, the dot and the double dot are common in all Unix and Linux file systems. That's basically just how they work. So another thing you can do, you can, instead of a dash lowercase a, you can say dash uppercase a. And this will show you, this will show you hidden files. So you still have your dot files like this one and this one, for example, but you won't have a dot or a double dot. So no current or parent directory. Since those are, you already know those are in every single directory, they're not really useful. So you can just use a capital A to exclude those. Usually I don't bother to do that. Um, I probably should, but it's just habit, I guess. So in any case, you can sort these by time. So you, you can say ls-t and you, you can do ls-tr to sort them in reverse. Now you, you can also, this makes more sense when you have an L in there or, or, or even, even a one, right? Let's just do a one and you can sort them. You can, you can just do a one like this. You can sort them by time like that. Um, so they changed a little bit. Most of them are the same time and you can sort them in reverse if you like, right? So. Another thing you can do is ls-lh. So a regular dash L will show you the sizes in bytes. A dash H will show you in human readable format. So bytes, uh, kilobytes, and if we had megs and, and gigs, it would show uh, an M for megs and a G for gigs. Well, we don't have any files that big in this current directory. Any case, um, the other thing you can do, so after this we have LH and the other thing or a common thing that is almost like muscle memory is LS dash LATRH and you can just get all the details and show everything without having to think about it and a lot of times I just do this without even thinking but uh, a common thing to use. Now another useful option is capital R. So this will recursively show you everything in all subdirectories. So like this, and the output's a little bit messier, but you can see everything in the current directory, and you can see everything under dir1, and then everything under like dir1 sub three, so inside this subdirectory, and so on and so forth. So that, that that's pretty handy to be able to do. Normally I would just use the find command or the tree command for that, but you can also do it with the ls command. So another thing you can do is sort by size. So ls dash s. So if you don't want to sort by time, you can sort by size. So dash s, now that again is going to, you're going to want a longer output like this. So you can sort by size. And now you have um, the biggest files at the top. And you could also put an h in there. So all the details sort by size and human readable. So you, you see it's uh, that, that that's some pretty nice looking output. You can also do that in reverse like this, put the largest files at the bottom. So another useful thing to do. So um, what, what else do we want to do? So you can also say, you can also show just directories and not the contents of a directory. Now, for example, let's say if we listed dir1, right? It's going to show us the files and 
subdirectories inside dir1. Now, what if we don't want to see that? We just want to list dir1. You can say dash d. Now, that's not super useful like this. Let's say if we just wanted to, to uh, list the details of dir1. So let's say if we said ls dash l dir1, it's going to, whoops, yeah, dir1, and it's going to show us all the details for everything within dir1. That's not what we want. If we just want to list like the permissions or the owner or size or whatever only for dir1, we could say d. So ls dash ld. Now that's normally what, what I would type. And you, you can see all the details only for this directory, nothing within nothing inside it. So if you want to get information about a directory but not its contents, use a dash d. So that is another useful option. Now you can say Another useful thing is to sort by extension alphabetically. So you, you can say ls-1. LS it's going to show you everything here. That's all fine and great. But let's say if you say ls-1 capital X. Capital X will sort by extension. And now you have everything sorted by extension, which is pretty nice. All your .txt files here, PNG files here. You got a PDF in there, some JPEGs, a DAT file some subdirectories and directories and, and so on. Any case, I, I believe I just called these. These are not subdirectories. I just used that name. That That's kind of confusing. Any case, the last thing I wanted to show you is a dash Z. So capital Z is going to show you the security context for a file. I don't have security context on this system, I don't believe, so you're not going to be able to see anything useful. It just shows a question mark. But that, you know, if you have, um, yeah, if, if you do have security context for your files on your current system, you'll be able to see them with a dash Z. And that's everything we really want to show you for the ls command. Remember, check the links in the description for more info. Hit the subscribe button for more useful content like this. We also have a ton of other more interesting content covering things like coding, hardware, software, servers, Raspberry Pis, 3D printing, and a whole lot more. Hopefully you found this useful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.